Is your vehicle blowing more hot air than a Democratic politician going for re-election? We have a solution for you. You just need a few minutes and a few bucks and you can do it yourself. You don't need much. You'll need an oil charger and enough of this R134A to fill your specs. I'm doing this on a Ram 2500, 6.4 liter from 2016. So I, it holds 30 ounces, so I got 11, 11 and 11, which adds up to more than 30 plus the five there in here. Uh, my vehicle has more than 100,000 miles, so I am going to do a stop leak. I got this to show that they use basically the same thing. It's cheap versus expensive. Your vehicle probably doesn't care at all if you buy cheap or expensive. The only tool you need comes in two varieties. Straight line hose adapter with a variety of connectors to fit your needs or a more generic single screw on adapter with a trigger on it. I actually like this one a lot and it has some very easy to read gauges. This one's a little more complicated. It doesn't have this beautiful trigger for quickly turning off and on, off and on as I need to. The downside of this is I've had it for a while and it has, you see a little blade in there? These cans used to come with a puncture hole to get into it. Now they come with these resealable holes. They require a different type of adapter to open them up. Downside, you gotta buy a new tool. Upside is you can keep using this can to top off your AC later on. So let's get started. Step one, open both your doors. Step two, pop your hood. Step three, start your car. Step four, set your AC to max. Step five, open your hood. Now, you need to find the low side connector to your AC. On my vehicle, it's right up front. You'll have two pipes or hoses going down to your compressor. My compressor down there, there's the pulley and the wheel on it. There's a high side, it's the bottom pipe here, and a low side, the top pipe here. It will vary based upon your model. Many of them have the low side adapter very easy to reach, and it has a big L on it, make it easy to find. Remove the low side adapter cap. This kit came with a variety of adapters for your cans. You can see one for puncturing, a couple for the re automatic closing, automatically sealable ones. We're going to start with the lubricating oil. Have that attached first. Once attached, and this is closed, you'll see the initial reading. About 8. You want to be between 25 and higher. Let's we'll start adding some oil. Turn the screw. As the can's empty, you will feel it get colder. You'll also see the pressure start to rise. For the oil, invert, shake gently. Once the oil can is depleted, move on to your refrigerant. Again, high mileage motor using high mileage refrigerant. While filling, you will see the pressure spike as the refrigerant discharges. Every few minutes, close it. See where it drops to. Continue this process. Like the oil, invert and shake. You know it's working good and the can starts getting cold. Once the can's empty, put on another can. Look, it's getting cold. The refrigerant is flowing through. Your target will depend on the temperature of the day, but anything about 55 is too much. We're going for about 40. Oh, that sweet, sweet cold air. A few bucks and a few minutes and your vehicle is comfortable to ride in again. This is McCoppin, keep upgrading your life.